I don't think I've ever been in this room. Oh, yeah, I think you've had to have been. Maybe. I've been in that one over there. Yeah, but it is, it's packed, dude. <laughs> What's going Good on? Good Johnny. I come bearing gifts. Hey, hey, dude. Always the way to go. Oh, that is yours. What? Frames a little yes. rough, but... Oh, here's, okay. And here's yours. <laughs> this is a chirping dog. Baby dog. Here's a whole box of goodies. Oh, dude, a box oh. of goodies. He comes from Hi. straight up MJ Alien off the of rip. MJ Alien. Ooh. Ooh. Look at the mystified and Ouija. That's an old one, dude. That's a yeah, that was from the 70s. Hey. What's wrong? Okay. So dope. Just a little cool right box of treasures. Oh, dude, old spuds. Old spuds. Yeah, my, look at this. You're gonna love this. Freaking palms, oh, dude. Palm are you Nation, kidding? bro. And this little thing. She loves palms. Oh dude. She's my a palm gosh. John, you're awesome, buddy. Head. These are dope, dude. And uh, avoid the noise. Really. So many cool ones, too. Oh, I love all ones. the colors and the graphics. So cool. I was pod crazy as a kid. Yeah, so what we did. And I, I remember, amazing. I remember the first time I lost them. Like I. I cried. Like my buddy had given back to me because I was such a baby about it. Well, come on down, dude. We can browse around wherever, dude. All right. We can get in there. Oh, yeah. It's somewhere. Oh, he's so cool. He's so cute. Uh, yeah, it looks a little different from last time I was down here. Yeah, I mean, just kind of more uh, refining it, man, getting it all. You know, squared away. This Street Fighter 2 hat is wild. Dude, there is some pretty wild stuff uh, on that shelf. Dude, I try to, I've try i been trying to just go with like some more, you know, obscure, cool stuff. Yeah. Man. Where did you find that? Dude, that came from one of my buddies uh, who came to the shop and just traded for a bunch of vintage. Oh, that's cool. I bought a harp, dude. What? 1915 harp from uh, uh, Lion and Keeley, I think, dude. It's... Some somebody does you, house. Where'd you find dude, that? House cleanouts, dude. Dude does house cleanouts, and they found like a multi-floor hoarder house. It literally had stuff since like the 1890s, and that was like up on the third floor. No way. Oh, dude, I just. And I'm like, what'd oh, you have to pay for it? Only a couple hundred bucks. I'm sure getting it out of there was the hard part. Yeah, dude, he brought it to the shop. I didn't yeah, have to do we it. didn't even have to. Well, he you know he brought it here in the case. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. On it's a got trailer. the original tuning key and everything. Yeah, dude. Well, the the thing is, like, I we talked to. A I had a, a harp expert look at it. Like, dude, if this were like, but well, I think it's cool for decor, man. So oh, it's my, wild. Who's who's decorating their mansion? Where did where's all this stuff come from? What's all this? These big guys. Yeah. These came from one of my buddies who does like uh, he just kind of sources between like. Michigan. It was an auction. Few states. No, this was a, a garage sale. sale a uh, garage sale, and some lady's uh, dad like traveled the world and bought all this stuff. So I originally bought this rock off of him because he had this rock and he found That's this at the garage sale. Rock. We don't know what Super it is. weird. No, um, like, <clears throat> um, and then he's there like, he bought these two guys, which these are by an artist called uh, Richard Gailey from the 70s and 80s. These big hieroglyphs. Yeah. Down here. And he's. Uh, he held on to him for a couple of years. He's kind of like really trying to, you know, milk me on the price. And then one day he's like, dude, just give me 150 bucks each for him. The, somebody's got this one listed on eBay for 10 K and, uh, this one I can't find, but they came in the big original boxes. They got all the paperwork. Is it stone? It's plaster. It's plaster. A guy literally did a castings of the, uh, of the stuff. Dude. Yeah. It's pretty wild, it's man. Wild. I know. It's just. I mean, I you couldn't ship it. Like, even if you sold it on oh, eBay, like you. I got the boxes. The boxes are wooden. Dude, they are like, the like Titanic. Box. If I was gonna do it, man, I'd probably ship it LTL. Oh, like, yeah. I'd find I'd find somebody go in that direction and like yep. put it on your truck. Yep, yep. Some shipping war stuff, dude. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just gonna get thrown. Oh my god! Could you imagine that too? Just shattered. And bits. it breaks oh, easily because it's plaster. Yeah, if you slam it into. But something. if you notice, I got two of my two of my treasures down here. Oh, I remember. Yeah. Dragon, dragon goose, and the weird bunny. Yep. I made Keep the bunny in the back room for a long time. Oh, the time. bunny is super creepy. I yeah. love it. I think and it's, this yeah. one's creepy too. I didn't even I didn't want it anywhere, but he likes it. So oh, yeah. I love the Whatever. macabre, dude. I think it's the macabre. The macabre. Just the fact that somebody's like, I'm gonna turn this duck into a dragon. Do it. Right. Do it, dude. And and kind what of is like, in your brain. And, and semi poorly. I mean you can right. tell his head was broken off and like like you know. Who is this guy? Uh Whitley's uh mom got me that. We were up at this like Wizard. antique thing, like Several years ago, and this it's lady Tyndall bears. This lady hand makes these bears, and I was and like, she adds, adorns them, and no makes way. Them and I was like, yo, listen, that bear's super cool. And like, we left, and then her mom went back and bought it for me. They're like, probably, I do. They I swear to God, this probably five hundred dollar yeah. bear, dude. Oh my God. She she hand makes them. They're really cool. Where'd you get these? Honestly, I don't remember. Oh. 
I've had them in a box of stuff set aside for you guys for a long time, and They're I don't so remember where I got them. Mad balls. God, I remember these. Yeah, we just recently got those ones. That's cool. We traded them for like a rat pink something. For sure. Oh, these are wild. Are those, what are those? Are those? Don Russ ones? Yeah, these aren't the actual garbage pail kids. Oh, yeah, yeah those like we the... had in the picture frames. These like, are cool, though. The gray. Yeah, the old... I mean, no, no, no. Those... Are those not it? No, oh. those were like the car ones, specifically car. Oh, okay. And some of these are GPK. You've had this card locker forever, man. Forever. Just keep adding little snippets to it here and there, man. Yeah. These are wild. And dude, These like, don't spawn. I have no... And that's... The, I don't know, man. Like, the, I just... I usually... That's my problem. I just buy stuff and then I just put it away. Yeah. Well, I mean, if it's like... You know, like... I know I know who it's going to immediately. I'll flip it real quick. But yeah. Like, a lot of this stuff, I just forget about it. It... It was a couple years ago. I, I mean, I'm not up to date on the current market, but Marvel, like 90s Marvel yeah, cards, yeah. were getting pretty hot there for a little bit. I, I remember that one set. I had that. I think I still have my mom's probably, dude. It's a, I have, I probably still have some out there, man, but I'll have to go find it. Yeah. Um, that one's a cool one. Cause Terminator? That, well, it's because it has the actual binder with it. Yeah, that is cool. I've never seen the actual binder that comes with it. Well, besides that one. Yeah, that's neat. Bunch of Jordans, that's cool. I, yeah, I think those are all Jordans. Rare air. Mistake. Probably, probably not worth ten dollars for the stack, but the moon one's cool. Like reverse dunk with the moon. Oh yeah. yeah that's dope. That's a... I like all the baseball ones too. As a baseball guy, it's cool seeing. That dude, grab anything you need, baseball. man. I got that at a garage sale like two years ago, Dude, I love and I remember at Kings Island like playing the games to get those. Oh yeah, those were at Kings Island. We yeah. won an alien at the fair too this year. Because in the nineties it was Maybe. MJ and aliens. MJ and aliens. And they're like, oh, we'll just combine the two. Right, yeah. That's absolutely it. alien. And that is odd, it. Dude. Don't even think about anything else. So I kept that for a couple years. Yeah, I love yeah. them. And then I was like, I think it's time well, to pass this along. He's staying right here doing the Area Fifty One. So oh, he's yours to do with as you choose, man. Yeah, the same with everything dude he stays right there man the same with the quaalude shirt i knew a day would come that somebody they, would have dude, to blow you away always man there's i you know i've gotten past that was the point a tough of like one. i'm surprised of like holding on to like you know i i'll sell pretty much any of my shirts these days yeah man. i mean as a reseller the whole thing is in my opinion like enjoy it for a while if you want to and then pass along to somebody else to enjoy it exactly yeah. dude okay. it's a lunch box but it's got built-in radio headphones so you can be jamming to some uh you know some Jackson you got headphones and a radio in your lunchbox. The little knobs. Yeah, Could you, but we talked about that. And they're serving that. milk. But imagine like, yeah, imagine sp sp like spilling your juice box in there, dude, and all the circuitry and shocking your dome, dude. Oh my god, I'm gonna get to do that. You know? That's wild. I don't think I've ever been in this room. Oh, yeah, I think you've had to have been out. I've been in that one over there. Yeah, but it is, it's packed, dude. <laughs> you oh, got a little gosh. bit of everything, man. The hubcaps. Make, make stacks, man. Get it all. Michael Jackson foldable sunglasses, That's dude. Crazy. Like with the big old belt attachment. Um, have you seen those? Did we show you those? I saw these in the video you oh, did with yeah, Kevin. Yeah. That's yeah. a pair of them, man. Yeah, they you strapped that on your oh belt. Oh my god. Fold them up, dude. <laughs> They Where'd put, you get those? Man, do you know, uh, have you heard, uh, he came down to the uh, reseller rally, Go Go Snow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, he's got, I mean, I've, I've been messing with him for years, man, but he's got insane stuff. He's got crazy good stuff, man. If you ever want to get some good stuff, drive out to Indiana and meet up with Go Go. He's got ridiculous stuff, man. It's, he's got, I mean, he, he had probably 50 pairs of those, man. No kidding. Yeah. Where did he find them? He just, dude, he's, he's a hunter. He's always hunting he's and finding, He's always yeah. hunting and gathering, dude. Super he's, nice guy. I chatted with him for a bit at the rally. He's super cool, man. And he's he always a... got go-go. Oh, he's got yeah. Great stuff, dude. Oh, go-go. So cool. All right, I got Michael Jackson keyboard. It doesn't have a songbook, but it's still, the fact that he's on the box is cool. That's pretty cool. And then I've got cards, uh, poster. Basically, like, this stuff right here. Obviously, cool. not your camera on that stuff. Yeah, you could go, yeah. Secret stash. I feel like I, I feel like I put 
like, because you told me once about those, like, tickets, man. I feel like I found a hole. Oh, man, ticket stubs are going really big because they, they're not um, selling oh. tickets anymore. It's all digital. There was this. So the collector's market for tickets have gone way up. I'm not sure what's in there, but you can take I feel like that's mainly sports. Yeah. But, uh... Oh, dude, these are cool. These are all Cincinnati Gardens tickets. Yeah, dude. They tore that down uh, late 90s, early 2000s. Dude, grab any of them you need, man. He can, he's, oh, he's going to be yeah, Throw me right. an offer. Yeah, I like that. Care. I like that. Um, with the tickets, 200 bucks. Go for it, dude. My man. Appreciate you. Absolutely. Back at the shop, I got a lot of cool stuff from Josh and Whitley today. I got everything you see here and then some more cards down here. I got this. James Bond poster from Live and Let Die movie. It has a signature on it. I am super curious if anybody watching this knows who that is. I'm thinking it might be Roger Moore because that looks like an R and that sort of looks like an M and an O and like an R and an E. So if that's signed by Roger Moore, that is super cool. I got to let Josh and Whitley know that because I don't think they knew it was signed. It's from 73. This could have some really good value. So if, uh, if this sells for, you know... A decent amount of money. I'm definitely going to be hitting up Josh and Whitley and giving them some more cash because I paid 200 bucks for everything. Got a couple sealed packs of 89 Fleer. Um, I looked these up after I left. They're going for maybe like 15 to 20 bucks a pack. Got this super cool Casio keyboard with Michael Jackson on the box. I guess this came with a um, Greatest Hits songbook originally. It's not in there, unfortunately, but the uh, keyboard still has some value. I didn't test it out. I'm hoping it works. Got some killer... Uh, tickets and ticket stubs from them. These are pretty much all local, like Midwest, Louisville, Cincinnati, Indianapolis. Got a ton of Garbage Pail Kids cards. These are newer, um, like reproduction, but there were a lot of original ones from the 80s. I don't know if there was any in this binder, but there were a lot of them kind of scattered about. And here we got a lot of Marvel stuff. I don't know a lot about this old Marvel stuff, but I know there is a demand um, I could tell the condition on them wasn't great. Just like a lot of the corners are pretty rough and the edges are rough. Um, but they're still buyers, you know, even though they're not grade worthy. I will definitely lot these up. You know, lots of 50, lots of 100. People that are trying to complete the sets. Uh, Marvel cars have been coming back really big. So if you're out and about and you see them and they're cheap enough, just, you know, snatch them up. You might have something special. You never really know. This right here is... Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, 91. I don't know if it's like the whole set in there. No, I think originally it was. Let's see. Here's some of the uh, Garbage Pail Kids. And um, the year's right on here, 86. I don't know a ton about these. I'm curious. Was every single old Garbage Pail Kids card like a sticker like this where you would peel it off? Because it seems like that's what most of these are. And I don't know if that was like a different version that they released where they were just strictly stickers instead of cards but yeah i thought these were pretty cool there's definitely a demand for garbage pail kids um once again it all comes down to condition and i'm probably going to be doing the same thing with these where i'll do big lots of like 50 or 100 or maybe just sell a whole binder and then down here we've got let's see terry labani <laughs> binder but it's more um garbage pail kids let's see we've got a jeff gordon binder these are the Don Russ, like, baseball gross-outs. I just think these are really neat. I might be keeping some of those. I'm not sure there's a lot of value there. Uh, but then in the back, you got more Garbage Pail Kids from the 80s. It was just so many cards that they had. These are interesting. I don't know what these are. These are Swamp Thing from the 90s, I think. Skybox. DC Comics Vertigo. Kind of interesting. Let's see here. Then we've got a lot of wrestlers. I'm not sure that there's any value here, but I just thought these are so cool. This action-packed brand was not a very sought-after brand. So these might be worthless. I really don't know. But anytime I see old wrestling stuff, I pick it up. It seems like more and more the demand for that stuff is going up. Um, got a stack of Jordan cards. These are all commons. Uh, these are all, you know, the highly produced stuff from the 90s. But... You know, even still, do a big uh, eBay lot of these, I could probably get, I don't know, maybe a buck a card, 50 cents a card or something, doing a big lot like that. 
Let's see, what is in here? I think it's more Garbage Pail Kids. Lots and lots and lots of Garbage Pail Kids. I don't know enough about these to know, like, which ones are highly sought after. Um, I think it's pretty similar to the sports cards, where if you send it in to get graded and it gets a good grade, then you could be talking some serious money. But, I mean, these are almost 40 years old now. So, the odds of getting it back graded 10 are not very good. Let's see what we got here. Last binder is, yeah, more GPK. So, yeah, a lot of GPK. I'm um, hoping that there's some money to be made on these. Now, these are the newer ones. These say 2016. Anytime you're looking at cards, really pay close attention to the year. Uh, sometimes it'll even have two years. It'll have, like, the original year and then the reproduction year because more and more and more, all of the old stuff is getting reproduced. Every genre, every sport, everything is getting reproduced. I even saw the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toys that look identical from the 90s. I mean, everything is exactly the same. The cardboard, the display, all of it, except the only way you tell is the year says like 2021. So keep an eye out. Uh, don't get, you know, faked out on the new stuff. You guys have heard me say this a million times, but I cannot overstate the importance of networking and building relationships in this business. When you're a reseller and you're doing this thing solo, <laughs> it is like, Climbing an uphill battle times a million if you were doing it on your own and you don't have connections and stuff coming in the door from different avenues other than yourself just out there beating the streets and finding the stuff. I had a whole box of goodies ready to go for Josh and Willie, and that's really the relationship that we've built, where if I see something I know they're going to like or if they might be able to flip and make money on, then I'm going to bring it to them and vice versa. They're always finding stuff for me because in reselling, there's a million different ways to do it, and really no two people do it the same way. Josh and Willie kind of have the vintage clothing and a lot of the vintage stuff uh, cornered, like 80s, 90s, that's their wheelhouse. So that's stuff that I'll, a lot of times I'll bring them. And then where I do like sports memorabilia, cards, things like that, a lot of times they'll bring this stuff for me. Josh and Millie, thank you again so much. Always love doing business and hanging out with you guys. I also want to give a special shout out to viewers Frank and Colin that recently reached out. Guys, thank you both so much. Really appreciate your support. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>